come to you because this is also a point that the president yesterday emphasized on and, and he again uh, raised the idea of uh, schools being safe haven, schools being social mobility and the social engines of the society. And we all appreciate that many Kenyans do struggle to reach school because of the long distance we had. Uh, we covered a story in the county of um, Tana River where learners had to go 153, more than 150 <laughs> kilometers to go and sit for the examination. Some are lifted by the military choppers belonging to the Kenya Defense Forces. And in the face of it, what are the real possibilities? Because we seem to be now gradually appreciating the importance of CBC. What are the real possibilities here that uh, the competency-based curriculum and the education sector in the country uh, could address this very systemic dysfunction that's glaring out? I think by the time we are, um, we are probably doing one or two years. Right. And, uh, and I, I got a little um, disappointed because, and of course maybe I can understand a government that when a government is making decisions, there's quite a lot of political balancing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so that um, sometimes when people remain so professional, mm -hmm. they make the right ideas, yes, but sometimes the ideas are not popular and I think that is not in line with uh, what we have seen uh, this administration wanting to do. For me, uh, I, and I, will be, I know I will be vindicated in the future like I have on so many occasions, day schooling for secondary school is the way to go. We cannot continue um, what we are doing and we sustain it. There is a lot of resources that are being spent by Kenya government uh, because we've surpassed all the thresholds that have been given by international community. Okay. You know, spending 24% of the national budget on education, spending so much of our GDP on education, we have surpassed all those thresholds. But are we investing in the right places? We really need to ask ourselves, do we really need, is it a must that we, we do our transactions for secondary school in a boarding setup is a question that uh, the parents could ask themselves because um, the, we are seeing um, a trend here. The government is not increasing its expenditure per child. The only people that are being squeezed to increase expenditure on their children are the households. Every government now is spending 22,000 for every child that goes to secondary school. What are households spending per child? When you take your child to a national school, the household will be spending 53,000, which is what is documented. Uh, but there are so many other things that, that you have to bring about. So in, in the spirit of really wanting, and I, when I was listening to the president yesterday, I got very excited because he was saying that um, his administration will endeavor to make sure that education is a, as affordable as it can get. So those are some of the those are some of the things. And you know parents are not taking their children to boarding schools because they want. It is structurally how this country has set out that all good um, secondary schools are boarding. So parents have not been left with a lot of choices. And, and I remember um, some time back, I think it was in 2016 or 2015 thereabout, okay. there was a move to create day school. Uh, wings in secondary school. And one did very well here at um, State House Girls. Mm -hmm. So I think really we, we must tell ourselves the truth as a country. The way we are spending in education, is it sustainable? Can't we have um, a, a little more of discipline measures? When, when the president says that the primary school is the junior secondary school is going to be domiciled in the primary school. Okay. I know there's a conversation about how do we differentiate these learners that you have come from primary school to secondary school. We now want to introduce a brand new uniform okay. at that point. Mm -hmm. And we know the conversations that we have had in this country about uniform. That moving from this level to the next, you need 20,000 of uniform, for example. What stops this administration from banning okay. the sale of uh, uniforms in secondary school and just reducing uniform to a simple mere to you know, tunic okay. because we appreciate the role of uniform, but does it really have to be that expensive? 20,000, 15,000? Do we really have to, um, I mean, does life need to get that expensive? Thank you. So I'm, yes. I'm really uh, imagining that the president, those are some of the issues that are, are pressing the parents and those are some of the areas that maybe we are expecting the president to crack the whip. Okay.